So this question is a translate word problem question. I say that because it is more than four lines long. So all we're going to do is read it and write down any quantitative information while we're reading, right? So not wait until after we finish reading to go back and hope that we remembered what we read. So this question says the sun converts 589 million metric tons of hydrogen into helium each second. So I'm gonna just write that down, 589 million per second. Which of the following is closest to the number of slugs of hydrogen in millions that are converted by the sun each second? Okay, well, I don't know what a slug is, right? So a slug or one metric ton is equal to 68.52 slugs. So what we have is 589 million metric tons, right? So I'm gonna just write all the units down. So 589, I'll just write all the zeros even. Zero, 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 zero for million. And then I'm gonna just say MT for metric tons. This is happening um, per second. So over S for seconds. Then I'm going to multiply that by the conversion factor that was provided in the question. This conversion factor tells me that um, one metric ton, or one MT, right? And it goes in the denominator so that I can cross-cancel those units out. That's why I put it down there. Is equal to 68.52 slugs, right? So the units I'm left with are slugs and seconds, which is exactly what I want. So let's do some math here. The metric tons cross out. So really all I'm doing is multiplying um, this 589 million times 68.52. And our answer, don't forget, our answer will be in millions, right? So let's do the math here. I'm going to pull out my calculator and say 589, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 times... 68.52 and what I am getting from that is 40 looks like billion 358 million 280,000 and even with just that right like without simplifying it any further um, I know that the answer has to be D but what does it mean that the answer should be in millions it just it just actually means that we are um, moving our decimal to the left six times, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So our decimal goes there. And that's how we get this 40,358, but in millions, right? So it's like basically saying that that times a million is our answer, but we're rounding it. So 40,358 becomes 40,400 rounded up. So the answer is choice D.